Multi-touch mobile devices allow people to perform multiple activities while on the go. However, much of this interaction requires individuals to use two hands, one for holding the device and the other one for interacting. Using the device becomes more difficult in situations where only one hand is available, as it occurs often such as when carrying a bag or holding an umbrella. A single hand is then used to both hold the device and interact with it. This often limits the interaction to single touch interaction with the thumb and makes common multi-touch gestures, such as pinch to zoom, difficult to perform. To mitigate this problem, we created the fat thumb interaction technique. It takes advantage of the thumb's contact size to allow for fluid transitions between different interaction modes. The thumb's contact size determines the mode, for example, switching between panning and zooming. The thumb's movement then performs the selected action, such as zooming in and out of a map. Our fat thumb technique presents three advancements of existing techniques for single-handed mobile device input. First, it uses contact size instead of pressure, and therefore it causes less friction even when moving with a large contact area of the thumb. Second, it includes adjustments based on a thumb's limited operational range and motor skills while holding the device with the same hand. Third, it reduces the number of clutching operations by not requiring a separate action for switching modes. We implemented the fat thumb interaction technique with a mobile device. At first launch, users perform a one-time calibration to measure the smallest and largest contact size. They can verify their calibration with the visualization overview. Once satisfied, users can begin using the device and navigating on a geographical map. Through a user study with 16 participants, we validated fat thumb and compared it to three single-handed techniques. Each of these uses a different approach allowing a person zooming into a map using a slider at the border of the screen, requiring users to tilt the device while holding the thumb still, or leveraging circular finger movements with the cyclo start technique. We compared offset, completion time, and number of strokes in an area matching and alignment task. As results, we found that fat thumb outperforms the other techniques in terms of offset. Fat thumb also had the least number of strokes and was identified as the technique most comfortable to use. In summary, we introduced the fat thumb interaction technique allowing one-handed interaction with a mobile device. It causes little to no strain on the thumb and wrist, and it provides a simple mode switch that people can easily understand and get used to. Overall, we believe that making use of the context size provides a new dimension for mobile interaction.